Why isn't sovereignty in the UN Declaration? All right, so why isn't sovereignty in the Declaration? Um, quick answer and a short answer is, is because self-determination is. Um, at least for me, and this is just my point of view, how I look at things, is that the self, right to self-determination, Article 3, for example, um, it covers it all. Because in my perspective, from my point of view, like sovereignty is a product or an outcome of the self-determination process. So when in these peoples determine to go into the determination process, and sovereignty is an outcome of that. So that's why I think that sovereignty is not in the Declaration, um, even though when there is a reference to sovereignty, it is in Article 46 about uh, territorial integrity and national sovereignty of states, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's the only reference, but I'm not looking to that reference um, at all. Um, when it comes to sovereignty, um, to specifically Article 3, and then if you look at the Declaration in, in a, in, from a holistic point of view, Article 3, 18, and look, like they're all the, these, these articles that contribute to sovereignty, they contribute to self-determination. Um, free power from consent is also a form of self-determination. So in a way, sovereignty, um, if you read it from an Indian's point of view, like if you, if you interpret it um, in the way that it should be interpreted, um, it's, it's not in there and it, because the Article 3 is in there.